In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can quickly generate these vector halftones using Adobe Illustrator. So let me come over here into a new document and we'll get started. The first thing I'm going to do is create an object that I'd like to fill the halftone with. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag to draw a rectangle that's the size of the canvas. And then I'm going to remove the stroke from that rectangle. And now I'm going to fill this rectangle with a, gr with a gradient that represents the type of halftone I'd like to fill it with. You can use any type of gradient you'd like, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use a linear gradient. So I'll come over here to my gradients tab. Uh, if you don't have a gradient window opened or a gradient tab, just come up here to where it says window and look for gradient in this list. And when you click on it, it'll populate. I'm going to click on this drop down over here and I'm going to look for my white black gradient and apply that. And now I want to dictate which direction I'd like my halftones to go. I want the black to start at the bottom and the white to go up top. So I'm going to come over here to this angle drop down and I'm going to set this to negative 90. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to come up here to where it says effect. I'll go to pixelate and I'll select color halftone. Now the settings I want to use here are as follows. Uh, the size that you should use, this is going to represent the size of the dots on your screen. For this particular rectangle, this rectangle is 1920 by 1080 pixels. 32 is a pretty good size, uh, but if you're using a larger image, you may want to use a larger number, or if you're using a smaller image, you may want to use a smaller number. You may have to experiment a bit. Uh, and then down here for the screen angles, we're going to set all of that to 45. And once you have those parameters set, just click OK. And now you have a halftone applied to your canvas. And you can edit the gradient. If you click on this button that says Edit Gradient, you can now edit the halftones as well. Now, as you move the gradient handles, the halftone adjusts to those settings. Now, the problem with this halftone is it's rasterized, meaning if I zoom in on it, you could see that it's pixelated. So if you're happy with this as it is, you're good to go. But if you want to turn this into a vector halftone so it's a little more versatile and you could work with it more, what you can do is grab your selection tool, go to Object and select Expand Appearance, and then go to Object and come down here to where it says Image Trace and select Make and Expand. And when you do that, now we have to ungroup this. So let's go to Object and select Ungroup and then click off of the canvas to deselect everything. And I'm going to take this white background and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And now we have this vector halftone. One more step though, if you take all of these objects and you move them off of the canvas, you can see that there's some white objects that got left behind in there. If you want to remove those, just click on one of them and then go to select and go to same and select fill color. And it's going to select all of the white objects on the canvas and you can just press delete on your keyboard to get rid of it. And now you have a vector halftone that you can stylize however you'd like. 